Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and uh, I'm here uh, with a couple of uh, concepts and ideas for telekinesis. Um, you probably seen my video of my prototype, prototype for my telekinesis learning and development station. And um, that's just a prototype, it's made out of hardening cloud, uh, clay. This is the my, 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 uh, my crowning joy, my crowning uh, achievement is the telekinesis self levitation training station this is the telekinesis self levitation training station design to teach people how to self levitate this is the the look of it this is the device the device is nothing more than a huge industrial size fan that has a, a very large cylinder plastic strong industrial strength cylinder clear cylinder to put uh, to house an individual inside they float inside the cylinder and the fan I want to make it plastic and industrial and strong and allow them to float up in the air and they have a helmet so the air doesn't bother them when they're in this device it allows them to become familiarized with being weightless and and knowing how it feels to lift up in the air just a sensation of being weightless and being lifted and and to come to become familiarized with uh, the sensation of the wind blowing around them let their brain let their neuroplasty develop new connections of of learning how it is to feel as though they're lifting up in the air and by again using you know he has a helmet which not wearing right now but he has a helmet so when he wears aside the wind gust doesn't bother you and it's supposed to lead this is a person outside He's on the sidewalk and he's levitating up in the air. You see his shadow? Because he learned how it feels to levitate here. The thing is though is that telekinesis, how you are able to manipulate things, you have to become, you have to develop empathy with, ob with objects that are external. You want to develop objects like a PSI wheel, you know? You have to become familiar with the shape of the PSI wheel, the feeling of it so that you can understand how it feels for it to move left or right or spin and that's with anything but this is the thing is that if you want to learn to levitate yourself you have to think of yourself almost as being light like a feather you have to think of yourself as the sensation of lifting when you're in here in this device you're 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 learning how it feels to lift up and defy gravity you're learning, you're, you're, you're letting your brain gain information of how it feels to actually feel as though you're weightless. Which then, you gain all the information when you hear it, it teaches you all those things. Then, when you're outside of this device, by using the same concepts from telekinesis, you can then be able to utilize that same uh, sensorial information that you gain from being inside housed in this device will teach you then will teach you then how to use those techniques to twist around the the old techniques of telekinesis to then teach you how to feel as though you're levitating from the ground defying gravity to to reenact the the feeling of being pushed up by the air from the air gust of this fan of being inside this device to reenact it from out from outside of the device so that you can you reenact it in real and in reality without any assistance you're reenacting it inside your mind which in then causes you to physically reenact that physical act outside of the device that's how telekinesis works you're trying to reenact rolling a can on the floor in your mind you're trying to envision it so that so that uh, you're sending that information to make it go you're making that physical reality you're making that reality of your mind become real in, the, in, in your external reality you know and that's what you're doing is that you're gaining information of how it feels to lift up from the floor lift up and defy gravity you know and the only thing that will give you that sensation is wind, air, free falling. That's the only way that, that we as humans can have a reference of defying gravity. 
of how it feels to lift up from a flat ground to, to lift from the floor is by being pushed up from having air gust that's the only sensory uh sensory um that's the only way that we can or being pulled by a person like a child adult pulling a child up in the air trying to envision yourself being pulled by a parachute up in the air you have to learn how it feels to be light and this teaches you that it gives you all the information that you need to then reenact all those sensations that you feel inside here being lifted up being pushed the air gust ro roaring around you defying gravity being weightless it's teaching you all that so that you you then um, retain it in your mind when you go outside in the sidewalk you then reenact it in your mind the sensation in your mind being weightless relaxing your heart relaxing your heart rate getting in the low beta waves and the low brain waves allowing yourself to then reenact it in your minds and then you then reenact it in real life it then occurs and becomes real that's how telekinesis is and this is the telekinesis um self levitation training station this is just a basic device with a huge fan industrial huge fan that lifts you up i may have to make it more safer or work on it whatever um I, here's um a couple ideas that i wanted to share uh this right here is uh my concept for for uh a training to teach you how to be able to put your hand through um through walls and through you know chairs and tables and stuff like that this is a train this is like a you see right here is a mold of a hand it's an indention you know it goes inside it's an indention mold of a hand in a plastic case if you put your hand inside it's very smooth and you kind of rub it with your fingers the molded indention hand and using a telekinesis is basically like anything like using telekinesis to move objects you move you use this you use those basic techniques of moving objects to um to basically um um get to get used get familiarized with the material get familiarized with your hand touching the material use uh, this uh relax your minds relax your body uh make sure you're in the lower levels of the beta whatever um your brain your brain waves are low and the same thing as trying to move an object you have to envision and foresee your hand pushing through a wall or through a table anything like that and this is great for practicing that this is this is um the telekinesis hand through objects uh training is right here at the top and it's just a basic mold a hole it's basically like an indention like a like a like a mold of a hand that's uh basically sunken a sunken indention of a hand inside a mold a brick mold a hollow mold and you just smooth inside you put your fingers as you can see inside and rub around and by using your telekinesis and your belief in your third eye and your meditation meditated state by being in your dream state and being in your form of reality fusing those things together you can put your hand through objects which in turn boom see the hand is going through the mold is going through the indention of the plastic of the hand the fingers are right here the hand the real hand human hand is going through the mold up here it's feeling around trying to get used to familiarize with it and then down here the hand finally goes through so it's like you're training your body your mind and your body to get familiar with the concept with new concepts and ideas of what you can do with your reality of your universe of your world around you and this this is just a basic training kit you know uh, maybe I'm thinking about maybe fusing it with some kind of different materials to help you uh, um, kind of like uh, some crystallized uh, liquidizing crystals you know the, the crystals that Trevor has maybe uh, uh, crushing them into a powder mixing it with the plastic of the training kit the, the, the training kit uh, maybe having crystals with the package of the you know to have to meditate with the uh, fake electronic 
LED candle that you can kind of let be in the dark and kind of have that candle flickering, that LED electronic candle. And you know, something that would help, you know, anything that would heighten your awareness and consciousness and your peaceful states to help you, you know, see it's right here, it's an indention. It's, it's a deep indention in, in, of a mold of a hand. You put your hand in there and by using basic telekinetic telekinetic concepts and techniques feeling around envisioning your hand going through the object being in a calm state envisioning your hand being a hollow or being a ghost or something like that being a uh um almost like nothing envisioning your hand you're feeling around you know um, i have to make a dvd or a book to do that and it goes right through finally that's that one that's the telekinetic hand through objects training uh, and this one is uh, this one right here is an idea for um, have you seen my Thor, Thor helmet right you've seen the Thor helmet on my tel on my using my telekinesis to move Thor, the Thor helmet that little videos well I got the idea from the smoothness of the forehead of the Thor helmet and I wanted to create this is the top part there's a uh, balancing weight so when it teeters or kind of tips left or right it always sits right up and I got that from the bean toys from the early 2000s the little bean toys you flip around has a balancing weight and it's gonna be very light because the Thor helmet actually if you get it balanced right on the forehead it's very light and, and it's very um, manipulative it's, you, you can manipulate it and you can blow air and it moves accordingly to which direction you blow the air in and the, I got the idea from the Thor helmet. Make one large. It's, it's as big as a. I would say it's as big as a Thor helmet. This would be as big as a Thor. As big as a base. A uh, professional baseball cap. The plastic caps that the professionals at league wear. It'll be as big as that. So it'll be. More, it's reinvention of the PSI wheel. It's reinventing the PSI wheel. So you could you could move away from a pen and paper or dollar and move to something much more um, impressive. It's just as easy as a PSI wheel. As paper because it's gonna be light, a very thin plastic, but just the weight right there to balance it. And anything can manipulate it, and your chi energy will connect to it. And this is the top part. These are fins that will allow the chi energy to help for you to spin it left or right or multiple times around and around. And that's the reinvention of the PSI wheel. That's the reinvention of the PSI wheel. And that's my idea with the balancing weight to help it stay stabilized and upright. And then here's another, our last one. Of, I want to make this video as fast as I can. Let's see. Because here's this one right here, the last one. This is an idea for, um, see, because I want to make objects specifically made for telekinetic, novice tele telekinetics, novice telekinetics, people going into telekinesis. And this is, the, that one, the, the, the Thor helmet inspired invention is a novice and novice friendly telekinetic uh novice telekinetic friendly thing you get immediate results you build confidence because confidence is what really perpetuates telekinetic powers your pineal gland is already a giant you just have to give the giant confidence to be able to lift do impressive great things this is that that's the muscle this is um a telekinesis training object so i'm looking into specific objects for novice telekinetic uh, uh beginners that will help them to move with just a little bit of mental telekinetic energy, chi energy. They'll see immediate big results that will add their confidence. And they can move on to other things like real objects like cans or ball base, uh, basketballs or like uh, moving larger things like shoes across the floor or something like that. And this also has balancing weights. It's tr it's a it's a crit it's a diamond shaped uh, cylinder, and it has balancing weights right there. It always lands on the edge, upright. You can see it; uh, it lands up edge. It's a balancing cylinder, but it's a it's a diamond-shaped cylinder. It always lands on its edge. See, it's upright on the edge because of the balancing weight right there. If you use a chi energy to move this with just a little bit, it's gonna flip over. But as it flips over, this other second balancing weight is gonna make it land on the edge again. So it's gonna be like this, and it's gonna fall over, but it's gonna land again on the edge. Make it go right, it's gonna fall over flat and immediately land on the edge. It's gonna fall. It's right here. When this goes over here and falls 
uh, um, even on the other side, it's going to immediately, the bouncy wave is going to immediately make it land on the edge right here, on the other direction. So it and it looks very impressive, and because it's on its edge, and it's gonna be very light, like paper, a very uh, sturdy, light plastic that's basically like paper. It's gonna be very easy to use, very little telekinetic energy, and see immediate again, see immediate fast results to build confidence in new telekinetic novices. And that's what this is. This is a balancing cylinder, rolling cylinder, it's the diamond shape. So it always lands on its edge, no matter what direction it's in. Because because I found out that objects that are on their edge are more easier to manipulate and to flip over when this very thin edge, very thin little balanced area. Your chi energy just needs to use a little bit and boom. When it falls over, it's gonna land again on this side on its edge to the left. Because about there's two balancing weights. So either way, left or right, this could be a balance where it's gonna have it land on its edge. Fast immediate results, build confidence, and it's gonna be see. It rolls. Right here, it's rolling because they're using telekinesis. Boom, lands on the edge. Boom, lands on the edge, and lands on the edge. It's rolling on its edge. It always lands on it because of the balancing weights. Boom, edge, edge, bed. It's rolling. See the arrows, and it, that's gonna add to more confidence and immediate results to help the people gain immediate results. And this is Ricky says, but this, those are all of my ideas. And uh, let me see. But this device is basically my uh, crowning joy, basically. And uh, I believe that is true. All those things are true. We can put our hands through walls. We can levitate up in the air. We can move things. I can't do it yet. But I think that once I build confidence, once I build my uh, Takanesis training station, the basic one, the first one, and I start to move, having the airflow coming up like an air table to help move objects with the mind because you have more chi energy, you're able to move things with slight wind gusts mixing and allowing your mental energy to connect to it you didn't have control over it so you have the air table to control upright cans and roll balls or whatever and uh it, and it's just training so you can move away master it and do other telekinetic abilities without no assistance or help so that it, the training kits are just to help you so that you can master those kits and then go out and just do it uh raw out there in reality with no help with no assistance with no training wheels you know, that's what it is, it's training wheels. But you always have the training wheels in here and in here. Even though you don't even though you don't have the training wheels on your bike, they're still here and here. That's how it works. That's how telekinesis works. Confidence. And those things are real. And those are my original ideas. No one else has those ideas. And this is my ideas. And my this this, this video is kinda too long. I could probably cut one minute off, but I just want to get this video out, get my ideas out there. Those are my kits, you know my original idea there has never been any concepts about training kids for telekinesis of any type and my telekinesis self levitation training station is probably one of a kind and i think that it's the one that will teach you how to fly in the air or float off the air four or five inches off the air really with no tricks it's all you and i believe it i believe it and this Ricky says but is those are my ideas thank you guys for watching and um and you know there's you know those are my ideas so it should be pretty safe being published on YouTube you know I'm gonna be the original guy all right thank you guys very much Bye.